Business of Architecture, episode 283. Hello and welcome back, Architect Nation. I'm Enix Sears, your host, and this is the show where you'll discover tips, strategies, and secrets on running a profitable and impactful architecture practice. Today's guests are Mel Price and Christopher Toddy. Christopher Toddy is the current chair of AI's Small Firm Exchange Committee. Mel Price was a chair in a previous year. And today we're going to talk about two workshops that I've partnered with them to create for the AIA National Convention. Now, Mel Price has actually been through some of my programs, as has Christopher Toddy. And so during this episode, we're going to talk about what you can expect to discover if you happen to attend one of these half-day workshops that's happening right before the convention. If you will be at the AI convention this year, I highly recommend you come out. This is a not-to-be-missed session if you want to be able to improve your practice and be able to get to the next level. So with that, let's hop in to today's show. So Chris and Mel, welcome to Business of Architecture. Glad to have you on today. Thank you very much. Glad, glad to be here. Uh, Chris, can you tell me for our listeners, what is the Small Firm Exchange since you're the current chair of that, of that national committee? Sure. It's an AIA national committee that serves the needs of small architectural firms. Uh, members of AIA uh, represent about uh, 75 percent of AIA members are in firms of one to nine people, uh, and that represents about 25 percent of the membership. Uh, so as a committee, we're actively uh, listening and participating in uh, initiatives to support small firms. Excellent. And can both of you, either one of you, speak to some of the initiatives that the small firm exchange is currently providing for these small firms? Christopher, I'll let you take the lead on that. Sure. Glad to. So um, we have four work groups, practice, influence, uh, conference, and outreach. Uh, one of the initiatives of the practice group is it has created a model business plan for small firms, which is up on our website and available to uh, those who wish to download it. Uh, the conference team is working on having uh, programming at A19, the national conference in Las Vegas, uh, and have content that would be important to small firms as well as any firms. And we'll get back to that. The um, advocacy work group, uh, influence work group is working on uh, paying attention to architects' needs out in legislative, as well as working on um, healthcare, trying to provide alternatives for healthcare for small firms, among many other initiatives. And that would be a great one because we know here in the United States, healthcare is a challenge. Mm -hmm. Mel, did you want to add anything to that as a former chair of this committee? I think it's, it's just been a great group to be involved in. Uh, when we started the Small Firm Exchange, the AIA had a, a round table only for large firms. And um, as Christopher said, 75 to 77% of firms are um, firms with 10 or fewer members. And so we wanted to make sure that um, our voices were heard and that there were people out there um, listening to our needs and the, the needs of small firms are unique because we all wear many hats. And from what I've seen, both of you have done a, a, a fascinating job of being able to do that, of, to further the message and things of interest to the small firm. Specifically, let's talk about what's coming up at the AI conference, which is coming up in Las Vegas uh, here pretty soon. Now, uh, Mel reached out to me earlier uh, with a very interesting idea telling me that the small firm exchange wanted to create some content around the business side of architecture. And of course, I'm excited by that idea. Uh, because that's what we do here. We support that for small firms. I'd like to get an understanding. How did this conversation about it start? Uh, what was the genesis of providing this content, which actually has become two workshops sponsored? And we'll get into more of that a little bit later. Well, let's see. Over the years, we've run many workshops for small firm attendees. And one of the cool things I think about them is that um, many large firms attended our, our workshops and seminars. And the cool thing about small firms is that we have awesome firm culture. And so that's something we wanna share. Uh, last year, I attended a fabulous session um, put on by the Young Architects Forum called the Mini MBA. And it was just um, a fantastic um, active learning session 
uh, but most of the folks leading it came from large firms. So I thought it was really important to get some information out there and um, get some tools um, out there for folks to use both on um, the business of architecture and the marketing of architecture from small firms. Awesome. Christopher, would you like to add anything to that? Well, our theme for this year for a small firm exchange is business resources. So the workshops and other sessions um, collected in under something called the business school uh, are so there to, su to support small businesses. Excellent. Now, Mel, you've been through uh, the architecture program I run with Scott Beebe that focuses on operations for small firms, as well as having Rick join the marketing program and business development that we training that we run. And I know, Christopher, we've worked together in the past in this capacity as well. So I think that's kind of why my name got put forward. I'm imagining Mel to help, to help provide some of the content for these trainings. And so we're, we're here to talk about two specific workshops that the small firm exchange has provided for architects. who are going to be at the conference and it's, it's going to be amazing content if I don't say so myself, but let's, let's talk to Mel and Christopher and ask them, what are these workshops? Why are they important to small firms and what we can expect to get in, uh, to get from them? Okay. Well, the first one, if you are looking to sign up through uh, the conference website is WE101, and it's the business of architecture. Um, so it's tools for profitable practice, and we will be um, at the end of the session. You can uh, text to Enoch and Scott, and you'll actually um, have checklists and, and things you can download to take home with you. Um, but we're focusing on couple of issues. Number one is uh, to meet Scott's goal of liberating small firm owners from uh, the chaos of running a small business um, and to equip us with tools to solve our own problems. And we'll be focusing on really how to construct a business, um, how to write your vision story. Uh, we'll be working together in small groups and teams breaking out, working on a master process roadmap that tells you everything you know to run your firm. We try to put it all in one sheet and then we link all of our sub processes to it. Uh, you'll find out how to run awesome, inspiring team meetings that hold people accountable. And then you'll have a really interesting tool thrown at you, which is the tool of setting up multiple bank accounts to know exactly how profitable your firm is. Awesome. And you went now, well, obviously it's going to be a four, a four hour course. And so mm -hmm. it's going to be tough to cover everything. Uh, Scott Beebe is who Mel is referring to. He is the head coach at business on purpose. I partnered up with Scott a couple of years back to provide the systems and operations building information for small firm owners who wanted to improve their practices. Now uh, you mentioned a number of different tools there, Mel, let's, let's tell our audience a bit about the benefit that you got from implementing those strategies into your firm? Because at the end of the day, that's what this is about. Sure. Um, well, we were, let's see, six years into our firm when I first um, started this class with you and Scott. And, um, and I'm actually redoing the course now with my partner. And it's something I feel like I should redo every other year. Um, it's amazing how far we've come in two years. Uh, but just generally um, starting from scratch and looking at why did we start this firm? What are our, what is our vision? What are our values and our mission? Um, how can we, how can we set ourselves up to run the most effective practice pro possible so that we can focus on what we love to do, which is awesome design work. Um, every aspect of starting and running a business is really broken down into one week um, chunks of work and then we get together and discuss as a group with the class and that's what we'll be doing at this workshop okay now why why would you both say that these things are so important for small firm owners both of you have run firms for a while uh, in a management capacity you know talk to me about the struggles that you're saying why do you feel that this information was important enough that you wanted to take some valuable time uh, and energy from the small firm exchange committee to get this to firm owners? Well, I think that most folks who start a firm do so because they love the practice of architecture. I don't know that many people do so because they love um, 
starting up and operating a business. Uh, and what we want to share is that all the same tools that are really inherent um, in our um, in our personalities as creative designers and organized people can be put to use in how we run our firm. So this one side of the practice that can be completely overwhelming if with a little bit of structure, um, we can get things running really smoothly. Yeah, there isn't a reason to reinvent these structures. Um, so to take these best practices and to share them with our colleagues ar across the country is part of what we're trying to do, trying to make it easier for you to run your firm uh, and succeed. Precisely. And Christopher, what have been some of the challenges that you've come across being a business owner and an architect? Well, as, as an AIA member, I've enjoyed the uh, camaraderie with other members. There are people that I can call upon and gain some extra expertise, uh, whether someone's younger than me or older than me. Uh, there's a lot of contribution that we make to each other. Um, as a member of the Small Firm Exchange, we've been uh, working together to strengthen um, our businesses together, and we're just trying to pass that along. I love the camaraderie. I love the intention to have us all be better architects in better businesses. And what have been some of the challenges that you've personally experienced growing and running a practice? Sure. Um, so uh, not always are clients easy, not always are projects easy. Uh, cash flow is always something to manage. Uh, we want to do our best design, but that needs to be managed within the fee. Uh, all of these are issues that uh, every architectural firm faces. And some of the um, experts are what I reach out to. Uh, for advice on how to better do these things. Excellent. And so, look, all of us here, all three of us believe in investing in ourselves, investing in our practices. Uh, I'm going to be running the marketing uh, event that's going to be the marketing workshop that's focused around not just marketing, but actually client acquisition, what we call uh, being visible in the marketplace, how to get your name out there, how to be seen by the right people, how to intrigue them so that you can start to create those relationships that then turn into work. Now, Mel, can you tell our listeners if they're interested in joining us for the, uh, the marketing mm -hmm. workshop, mm -hmm. how would they do that? So you'll go to the AIA conference website and you'll search for WE301. So that's a Wednesday afternoon session from one o'clock to five o'clock and sign on up. Excellent. So I'm, I'm excited for this. Uh, thank you, Christopher and Mel and your colleagues at the Small Firm Exchange Committee for uh, giving Scott and I a chance to share the information that we've collected as we've worked with uh, dozens and dozens of firms from around the world for the past few years, helping them implement both systems for attracting and winning the right work. And then also to, as you said, Mel, to get the firm owners out of the chaos of working in their business. So there's really going to be nothing like sitting there for uh, these two workshops that will be on the Wednesday preceding the actual uh, the conference. Usually they have these are called pre-convention or pre-conference workshops. And it, it's going to be an amazing opportunity for those who attend. So if you're listening to this podcast now, what I recommend is go and sign up now because we have a limited number of seats available for small firm owners to attend. And we're very positive and uh, believe that those seats will disappear very quickly. I don't know, Christopher or Mel, if you guys have a head count right now of the numbers. I should have, I should have looked it up before. Yeah. Christopher, do you have one? So, so sorry, Enoch, I don't know that number just now, um, but I hear it's filling. I, I would imagine so. We were more than halfway full two weeks ago, so I should have checked before now. We should yeah. be just about at capacity pretty soon. Yes, so... Um, thank you, Mel and Christopher, for what you're doing to be mentors and leaders in the industry. Uh, I know that having participated in the AI for a long time as well, that it, 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 do, it is a large commitment to not only be active in a chapter, but also to take a leadership position at uh, the local and even the national level. So uh, as another Architect AI member, thank you for that, both of you, for the service that you guys have put into that. It really does. It's impressive. Thank you. Maybe one quick plug for SFX and for your classes is that um, there's nothing like having a group of colleagues that you can talk to from all over the country and all over the world. And 
talk about things that you might not feel comfortable talking to your your close colleagues and competitors in your specific market. So uh, when you come to our workshops, you'll be meeting people from all over the country and hopefully you will develop relationships and continue that conversation. And how do, how do AI members become part of the uh, small firm exchange? How would they get involved in that? So there's two, two direct ways. One is that there's a representative for each region. Um, so for example, I'm in the Ohio Valley region and we have, uh, I am the representative uh, for my region. I am a resource to uh, the architectural firms in my region. Uh, so I, uh, people reach out to me with their questions, their needs, their comments, their concerns about um, managing their small firms. And then the second way is that we have a quarterly newsletter uh, that can, you can sign up for by going to AI.org backslash SFX. So uh, touch, uh, make sure that you sign up for our newsletter. Perfect, perfect. Well, again, so there's, there's three, a couple different opportunities that you've listened to this podcast we're, we're cluing you into here. Uh, number one uh, would be the, the first workshop that's going to be on that Wednesday, which is if you search the AIA conference website, AI 19 for WE 101. Is that correct, Mel? That's correct. You've got it. Eight to noon. Eight to noon. And then later on, the second half of that day would be a great transition, have some lunch and then come in and focus on those client acquisition, winning the work right? Winning the projects. Search the conference website for WE301. Got it. All right. And lastly, an invitation to find out more about the Small Firm Exchange by going to the AI website. Uh, Christopher, and you said it was the actual URL was, um, was forward slash and then there was, was it SFX? SFX. There you go, SF, mm -hmm. SFX. And on there, you can also find the opportunity to subscribe to the quarterly newsletter. All right. Well, I hope everyone is going to join us at that workshop. I know that I'm excited. We're getting ready. There's going to be some fantastic information that we've put together uh, to help your firm succeed. So Mel Price and Christopher Toddy, thank you for joining me here on the Business of Architecture podcast. Thanks so much, Enox. See you in Las yeah. Vegas. Thank you. See you all. That's a wrap. To discover more about the process for creating a better firm with less fires and more fun, go to businessofarchitecture.com forward slash freedom webinar. On that page, you'll be able to sign up for a free 90 minute online training on how to create a firm that empowers your staff and is set to grow and scale without chaining you to your desk. Discover how to market your firm to win better projects. Sign up for my next free design firm marketing training at architectwebinar.com. That is a free online presentation. You can watch it from the comfort of your home or office anywhere that you are in the world. The views expressed on this show by my guests do not represent those of the host, and I make no representation, promise, guarantee, pledge, warranty, contract, bond, or commitment except to help you conquer the world. Carpe diem.